Hi everyone, it's Alejandra from Home Organizing and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. A lot of people have been asking me questions on how to stay organized during the holiday season. And so I figured I would just do a video and show you guys a system that I use during the month of December to stay organized and um, stay on top of things. And let me show you, or let me give you a sneak peek of what the system looks like. It's a binder, it's a one and a half inch binder and it has everything I need to make sure that I send out cards on time, make sure I buy all my gifts on time, make sure I mail them on time, make sure I send out my thank you cards. Um, it's basically like everything I need for um, like gift giving um, to friends and family. So before I get started and show you the system and what it looks like and how to get the same look inside of your house, um, I just want to say that this uh, video is part of a YouTube playlist that myself and five other YouTube partners have put together to bring you holiday tips uh, this holiday season. So at the end of this video, I'm going to post links to their channel. You can subscribe to their channel and um, watch their tips. So let me grab the camera and show you guys exactly what my system looks like. Okay, so this is the outside of my holiday binder. I'm gonna show you inside in just a second. Um, but basically it's a one and a half inch binder from Staples. It's the Staples brand binders, the better binder. Um, I always talk about these binders in my videos. They are my favorites. I love how they come in like 15 different colors and I love how they have a little window on the side so you can um, you can write a label. And I wrote this in red because it's Christmas and the, the binder is green because again, it's Christmas. Um, and then I just put scrap of paper in the very front of the binder to make it even more Christmassy. All right, so let me show you inside. Okay, so the first document inside of my holiday binder is my holiday checklist. Now this is the most important document inside of the binder because it's gonna tell you everybody that you need to send a card, gift, and stocking stuffer to. Um, so basically what I did was I created this checklist from Excel and then I just printed it and put it inside this binder. Um, and I listed all of my family and friends in the first column right here. And because this is gonna be on video on YouTube, I created fake family members and friends because I just felt uncomfortable putting the real names down. So these are all fake friends here. Um, but once I created the list of friends that I'm gonna send things to, then I created a card column, which is the second column here, and I made little check boxes so um, I can just check off the box once I send, or once I write out the person's holiday card. Okay, so what I did here was I kind of grouped people in groups of five and I put a red box around them because I'm only gonna to wanna to write five holiday cards per day. If I, if I write like 10 holiday cards per day, my handwriting starts to get sloppy and then I don't really wanna send out a sloppy copy um, holiday card so I figure if I just do five a day for eight or nine days then I will at the end of eight or nine days I'll have sent out 45 really neat and organized holiday cards um, so yeah so you can just see the dates right here this started on December 1st I sent out five cards December 2nd another five cards and so forth every single day um, and then something else I did was most of my family and friends celebrate Christmas um, with the exception of some of my friends that celebrate Hanukkah. So what I did here was I put a little Star of David symbol um, by my friends that celebrate Hanukkah. So when I'm writing all the holiday cards, I know to send them a Hanukkah card and not a Christmas card. And then the next column here is the gift column. So I went through my list of family and friends and I said, who am I gonna send a card to and give a gift to? Or who am I gonna send a card to and not give a gift to? So the people that are gonna receive a gift, they have a, um, a white checkbox here so I can just check off whenever I um, buy them a gift. And then the people that I'm just gonna send a card to and not a gift to, I just, I shaded their, um, their box in black before I printed it so I know that I don't need to buy them a gift. And then the same thing with the stock stocking column here, anybody that I'm going to get a stocking stuffer for, I left the box white so I can just check off when I get their stocking stuffer, and then anybody who's not going to get a stocking stuffer has a black box here. And then the next column here is the deadline for the gift. So when do I need to... Um, when do I need to buy and send their gift by? So not everybody that I'm giving a gift to I'm going to see in person. Um, like for example, um, like Debbie and Anthony Aisman. Okay, that sounds so silly because that's not a real person, but um, <laughs> like for example, I am, I need to send their gift by December 20th because I'm mailing their gift and I want it to get there, you know, on Christmas or before Christmas. So that's why they have December 20th. But for example, December 10th here, like I'm gonna see Danny Phillips and Carol Phillips, which I'm not really gonna see, but I'm gonna see my pretend friends on December 10th. So I need to get their gift before then. And then everybody with the December 23rd deadline, I'm gonna see either on Christmas Eve or Christmas day. 
And then the next column here is the gift ideas column. So I pretty much knew what I was gonna buy everybody when I printed out this checklist. Um, so I just typed, typed out what I'm gonna get them um, before printing it. But if you don't know what you're gonna get them, then you can just leave this empty and then you can just fill it in as you come up with the ideas. If that's the case, you probably wanna create like a bigger cell or more room to write, because this is not a lot of room to write if you're just gonna handwrite it. Um, okay, so that's gift ideas. And then the last column here is the thank you card. So um, after Christmas, you know, you wanna send thank you cards to everybody who got you a gift or gave you something, you know, something nice or whatever. Um, so of course I don't know who is gonna give me a gift yet. Yet. So everybody has a checkbox column and um, after Christmas I'll just go through and you know I'll just write you know write, write a check mark if they gave me a gift and I sent them a thank you card. So again I just created this checklist in Excel. I feel like this is just a lifesaver. This is going to keep me organized throughout the month of December because I'm going to know exactly who I've sent cards to, who I've sent gifts to, and who I haven't. Um, and one more thing that I kind of thought of that I is not included here is to create a budget column like maybe the last column here. So you can um, kind of budget, you know, put like a, um, a a limit to how much you spend for each person's gift. So if it's like $25 or if it's $50, you can just include that in the last column here. Okay, so that is my holiday checklist. Um, oh, and just one more thing here. At the bottom of the checklist, you can see that I'm gonna send out all of my cards um, you know, on December 9th, or I'm scheduled to finish writing all my holiday cards on December 9th. And once I finish writing them, then I can just stick them all in the mail together. Um, and I'll just go through and I'll double check that everybody has um, has a card written for them, and then I'll stick it in the mail. So that's my holiday checklist. If you guys wanna use the same checklist, I will put a link at the bottom of this video where you can download this for free on my website, and you can just change out the names and you know change out all the information and make it yours um, so you can stay organized this holiday season. Okay, so now that I've done my holiday checklist, I'm gonna show you what else is in this binder. So the first section here is my sticker section, which is kind of like stickers and stamps. It has all of, um, all of the stamps in the first section. These are just four by six photo pages that I got from Office Depot. And I just, um, you know, I put all my stamps in here and I have Hanukkah stamps and I have Christmas stamps. They're all forever stamps, so I can use them next year when I'm, um, and I'm writing more holiday cards because this is more stamps than I actually need. Then the next section here um, is all of my uh, stickers to close the envelopes. And I used, I put them in sheet protectors just like this. Um, these are the sheet protectors that have a little flap at the very top. So when you turn the page, nothing is going to fall out. If I can actually close the flap right here. Okay, so yes, yeah, so these are stickers that you use to close envelopes. I keep these nice and protected in a sheet protector so nothing gets wrinkled. And then the next uh, set of stickers, these are tags for holiday gifts. These are in another sheet protector. Then the next section is all of my hol holiday paper. So this is um, holiday paper for writing like a, um, a Christmas letter or a, um, a recipe if you go to a cookie exchange. I feel like I always use this paper for some kind of holiday like note or something, so I thought it'd be you know convenient to keep it inside this binder. So I have two kinds here. There's this kind, wishing you and yours joy this holiday season, and then there's celebrate the season. Then the next section here, I have all of my address labels. So the very first uh, set of address labels is my return address label that I will put in all my holiday cards. Um, and I like to type them up instead of handwrite them because it's just like extra, you know, it's just extra effort handwriting when you're handwriting all your return address labels and all your address labels. So if you type them, you could just reuse them year after year. Um, so yeah, so that's just a way to save time and be more efficient. And then in this section here is where I'm going to um, print out all of my addresses for all my friends and family. I didn't want to include those addresses here because obviously I'm not going to create fake addresses and print them because I felt like that was a waste of paper. But yeah, I'm going to write my friends and family address labels here. And then the next section has all of my tags. I felt like I wasn't sure if I was gonna include this in this binder, like these are all these gift tags right here. Um, but I felt like this is the perfect way to, you know, keep them, um, you know, keep them from getting damaged and keep them organized. So I just put them inside of these baseball card sleeves and then I just stuck them in the binder. 
These are really cute. I got them from Target this year. I just thought they were really cute. And then the next section here, I have a uh, gusseted binder pocket that I showed you guys in my warranty and manual binder. Um, I got this from Staples. It's a binder pocket that goes inside of a binder that has a nice Velcro clasp. And I, um, I use this to store all my holiday receipts. So every time I buy somebody a gift, I'm gonna put their receipt in here um, and I'm gonna put at the top of their name, I'm sorry, at the top of the receipt, I'm gonna put their name so I know, you know, who uh, the gift went to. So I'm gonna use this for budgeting purposes, like if I'm gonna add up, you know, all my gift receipts at the end of the holiday season to know how much I spent or how much I've spent so far to know if I'm on budget. Um, yeah, I'll save the receipts. Or if somebody needs the original receipt for a return or an exchange, Change. If a gift receipt is not available, then it's good to always have the original receipt. And then I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of these receipts in January or after the holiday season if I no longer need them. If it's something that I might need or the person might need, then I'll keep it um, maybe for another week or two and then I'll just get rid of it. Um, but yeah, but it's just a good way to, it's a good place to keep all your holiday receipts. And then the last section of the binder is where I have all my holiday cards. I used another um, gusseted binder pocket from Staples to keep all my holiday cards nice, neat, organized, and not bent or damaged. And then whenever I'm writing my holiday cards, I'll just you know take them out and then um, just start writing them and then put them back in. And something else that I meant to put in here that I haven't um, yet are my thank you cards. And I actually have not bought my thank you holiday cards yet, but when I get them, I'm gonna put them inside of this binder pocket. Okay, so one more thing that I want to show you guys in the binder is the dividers that I used. So I kind of had to search for certain kind of dividers because as you can see here, most dividers are not going to go past um, these sheet protectors that you get from office supply stores because they're extra wide. So I found dividers that had little tabs at the very top of the, um, the divider. So I was able to um, just get these and put them at the top instead of at the side because if I put them at the side, you can see right here that you won't be able to see them because the sheet protectors are in the way. So um, yeah, so they go at the very top. These are from Staples. They are Staples brand, and I forget how much they were, but you can get them on staples.com. And then I decided to use um, um, a red font on a white label because it just, it matched the green binder for Christmas and um, I just thought it was nice and appropriate. Okay, so that's the system that I use for the month of December to stay organized leading up to the holidays. I hope these tips were helpful. If you decide to set up a binder inside of your house for December, um, it's super easy to set up. It's just a matter of gathering the supplies putting it together in one binder, making your checklist, deciding who you're gonna send cards to, deciding who you're gonna give gifts to, um, and just tracking your progress as you go along so you know you know, what you've accomplished and what you still have left to do in order to, um, to get everything done in time for the holidays. So again, I hope these tips were helpful and I hope you have a great holiday season and I will see you soon. Bye.